this is Dan King. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the nose manual. So the way I learned how to do the nose manual was I found two lines or cracks about 20 feet apart and I started in one and I just lifted my back wheels up and tried to make it to the next one balancing in a nose wheelie the whole way. And it, it took a lot of work and you know a lot of times falling down, but once you find that center of balance there, you'll be able to do it. After you get the balance down of just like feeling out the nose wheelie, you're gonna wanna learn how to ollie into it. Just have a regular ollie position, like you're ollieing up onto a curb or anything like that. So when you ollie into it, you slide your foot into a way that you, you're balancing in a nose wheelie, pretty much. Um, you want your weight to be distributed like over, pretty much over your front foot, and you want to stay over that the whole time. Once you get to the end of the obstacle that you're performing the maneuver on, you want to kind of give it a little nudge at the end so your wheels don't hit the last part of the ledge. You just want to kind of pop your nose off the end and just kind of clear the rest of your board over it, which is the fun part of the trick. Once you get the nose manual down on ledges or anything, you could do kick flips in, heel flips in, 360 flips in, 180s in, and there's variations of what you can do out of nose manuals too. You can turn it to lip slide, you could 180 out, you can go out early, you can not only flip out, you can not only 360 flip out. Like, there's no limit to what you can do out of the nose manual. There's still people like innovating new tricks in and out. That's something that's really cool. It's like it's a trick that can stand by itself, but you can really add so much to it and make it another trick very easily. It's a changeable trick. So that's the nose manual. Check out heavyhitters.com for more trick tips.